Boom, boom, boom. In the end, only cuz matter. <laughs> what? It's you on your phone. Oh, are we live? What? Live. We're live? I haven't been notified. If I could tell the world just one, one thing, thing, it would, would be we're all okay. And not to worry, because I'm so useless in times like these. Have well, we made use of it. I won't be out of wish despair. Oh, are we live? Yeah, we're live. Okay. Well, I'm going to do one thing. Just one thing, it would be we're all okay. And not to worry, because I'm so useless in times like these. Have well, we made use of it. I know, but they're not <laughs> yours. They are my own, but they're... That's yours. They have me on. It's Irish. My own. Me on, me on. Hello, everybody. We got, we got people. Let me see. Your audio good? Say Can something. you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Did you hear that beautiful singing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a paintbrush in my hair. I didn't have like. That's a true <laughs> I had to bring it over here and I didn't want to put it in my purse, so I was like. Mer. What if you actually did your hair with a paintbrush? When I was in high school, I'd be like, put it up, paintbrush, and I'd be like, I am so artsy. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, I'm not sad. Looking back, it was kind of a cool thing. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. All right, we're giving a few minutes. Okay. Hello, Faye, hello. We're gonna paint a small picture. For Starla. <laughs> the thing about these postcard paint along lives is we sing the entire time. It makes it better. It's important. It is important. Da, da, da. Uh, uh, uh. And dance. We do both. We're the whole thing. Is what real? Mm-hmm. 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 Best her PJs. I wish I was in my PJs. I was before this. Had to get dressed, you know. Shower. Ba ba ba. Hello. We got people talking to us. We got people. Where's the background music, Al? Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, we're getting it, Judy. We're getting the music. Until then, I'll just sing. I'll entertain what you. Uh, what? Cool earrings. Thank you. I literally just bought them. Thank you. <laughs> I wish you guys could see Al dancing right now. <laughs> oh, Faye. Okay, we ready? Mother be shiny. I don't know all the words of this song. Go shining. Oh, we got stuff to do. Come on. All right, back. let's do this. You guys ready? You guys ever heard of art? You guys heard of art? <laughs> welcome to art. <laughs> this is what we do. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing a quick little live painting here today for our Let's Make Art Matter postcard. Uh, this is for the month of August. So um, in case you're confused on the timing, we are doing the August postcard, which is for Starla out in Arizona. 
and um, some of you have already painted it and sent it in and that is amazing for those of you who haven't done it yet we're just going to paint a little something live we're going to do this sunflower now explain how starla is connected to the sunflower oh i think it connects real well okay because starla the sun is the biggest star okay obviously so we would do a sunflower <laughs> so a flower with a lot of seeds. <laughs> so I found like a sunflower would be perfect for Starla. Sun, star. Sun is the biggest star. You got, you guys get it. You get it. They get it for sure. Okay. And just to go over what um, Make Art Matter is for people who are new to this and not really sure. Um, every month we choose a different person or family and we write a little card in there, um, just kind of information about them, about why they're receiving the postcard. And we include a postcard in your subscription box that is addressed and stamped. So all you have to do is paint it and we drop it in the mail. And then that way, you know, whatever they're going through, um, you know, just all of a sudden they start getting these hand painted postcards in the mail and it just brightens their day. And oh, that is our goal. Is our goal is just to brighten people's day with art, which you absolutely can do. And um, it kind of started because a few, gosh, I think it was actually like this time last year, I had some close family friends who were going through a really, really hard time. And it was just, you know, just sad thing and hard and trial after another. And I wanted them to know that I was thinking about them and I loved them, but sometimes it's hard to say the right things because maybe you don't want to offend them or maybe you don't know what to say or maybe you know there's nothing you can say to make them feel better. Um, so what I did is I would um, paint them things. I would just take a moment and paint them a picture and give it to them. And it was just my way of saying, I'm thinking about you, I love you, and um, I'm here for you. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay? That's cool. Feels good? Great. Um, you got a hello from your bus driver. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> that's such a great story. One of our um, subscribers, I'm from like the Sacramento, California area, and she messaged me. She's like, hey, I'm, I'm um, from Antelope, which is a suburb of Sacramento. Um, and I, she was just saying small world. And I was like, I went to high school actually in Antelope, California. And she was like, I am a bus driver for your high school. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, what? So, so crazy. Years later, small world. Small world. Small world. It's the little things, you know. Okay, so um, Starla, who's getting this card, she's out in Arizona. She has um, congestive heart failure and she has gone through surgery after surgery and all of them have very low risk of surviving and she's still with us. She is a fighter and um, just really an amazing woman. And so we just wanna brighten her day and let her know that she has a support team cheering her on and that we're here for her and that she's being thought of. So we're gonna do this sunflower, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. Now the difference between this sunflower and the one we did earlier in the month is this one is actually gonna be um, like it's flat, like we're, you know, watching, looking at it from above, where the one from our kit, it was kind of tilting away from us. So it's a, it's just a variation of that. And I'm going to start with drawing my circle on my postcard. And brilliant. Great idea. <laughs> the center, the center part of the sunflower. And um, I'm actually just going to use this roll of tape as a circle. But you guys can use whatever feels right for you. You can freehand it. You can do you know, Wait, are it's, you just going straight to water? It's your painting. So I'm gonna, I'm using my round sticks. I'm picking up some water. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of yellow here, and then I'm gonna um, outline it on the inside just using this tape, just like that. So now I have a center I'm for my sunflower. Use tape again. Uh, you absolutely can use that tape again. It's <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I'm going to start putting my petals in. I'm just going to kind of start and go all the way around the painting. And I'm just going to use um, daffodil yellow for this. Now, as you can see, this is just a used palette that I have. I'm just using whatever leftover paints from the subscription or just kind of use what you have on hand, you but know? it's all dry. What do you do? It's still dry. That's okay. If something is dry, you just take your wet brush and you just smear it around and it comes right back. It's amazing. It is amazing. Okay. We are living in the future. This is 2018. Okay. 
So I'm going to start with my petals. And um, when I get around the top here, they are going to kind of go off the edge a little bit. So it's okay if they kind of like go off. And then uh, when you do your petals, I'm leaving a little bit of space so there's kind of like barely touching. And you want to make like a curved line, almost like an eye, like if you were to draw an eye. And then you can just fill that in. So I'm just going around. And don't worry, we'll fill in the spaces in between. The hard thing is going to be trying to keep the same petal length as you go around. So try and focus on that. Now I am leaving little like uh, on some of them I'm leaving like a little thin white line in between like in the middle of my petal. And that's just for interest. That's just for switching things up. Just like that. And then another thing I noticed when I was looking um, at the sunflower paintings is that um, when you do petals, they have a belly to them. So they kind of go wide in the middle and then narrow out at the top. That kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you're painting petals. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of the amber and kind of just drop it in just where that petal is meeting the center of the flower. Just right there. We're going to keep going around. And remember, it's going to get cut off. That's okay. If we try to make our petals fit on this postcard and just make them smaller, it would kind of look a little bit funky. So we're, we're acknowledging that this is just a different composition and some of the petals are going to be cut off. Or if your center is small enough, it could fit on the whole thing. Okay. So let me do one more down here. Do I need to move my tray to the other side? Oh, that'd be a great okay. idea. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I just realized that. I'm going to label that table. Sorry. <laughs> tray, right just side. Slide everything this way. There you go. Good? Tray. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We're back in business. Okay, so I did my first layer of petals. And now I'm going to move to um, start working on the center of my flower. Now the center of sunflowers are brown and then the very center is black. So to get brown, you just mix black with some um, of the amber. Because brown is just dark orange. Really, you could mix all the colors. Really, you could mix all of the colors and they would make a brown color because that's what happens For when you just... People, that's their best talent. <laughs> brown, color. You know what? It's a great talent. Okay, it's great. Um, and then I'm just going to go along the edge here of the sunflower with my brown. Now, some of my petals might still be a little bit wet so that brown might bleed into them a little bit, but I embrace those things. I love it when things like that happen. It's like an accidental art element that I think is fabulous. So I'm just kind of outlining the brown and then I'm going to put in my black center. So I'm grabbing some black and I'm going to put in my center. Now since my sunflower is off center, so is my center of my sunflower. So just try and match it up. And I always like to do an extra little drop of black in there. Okay, so we have the outside of our center, we have the center of our center done. Now why not just stop here? What? It's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. But we're gonna we're gonna really fill this out. We're gonna <laughs> flush it out. We got more ideas. We got more stuff coming, don't worry. I'm going to start taking this brown. I picked up a little bit uh, more of the brown, mixing a little bit of more orange so it's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to start putting this in the middle of my sunflower. Now remember things are still wet and it's, it's kind of bleeding a little bit. I'm embracing that. I'm, I actually really love it when things like that happen. If it bothers you and you do not like that, then wait for all of these elements to dry before you put them in. And then that way you won't have so much bleeding. 
Okay, so now we have a nice brown wash in our center, but it's looking a little bit light. We want to add a little bit of dimension in there, a little bit more color. So I'm actually going to grab some of this iris on my palette here. I believe this is iris. And it makes like a green almost. I mean, it makes a little bit of yellow in there. And I'm going to just start putting in um, pops or little areas of different colors because I think it just makes it a little bit more rich. That way it's not just, you know, one solid color brown. It has a little bit of color variation, a little bit of interest in there. I'm gonna do Eric says sunflowers are part of the aster family, and aster means star. Oh, <laughs> who said that, Erica? Eric. Oh, Eric, thank you, that, yes. Oh, Eric Lucas? Yeah. That's my husband's like best friend and he is a botanist, so I believe what he says. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks for having my back. Okay, so I just am dropping in a little bit of the amber, a little bit of blue and green, just to get some color variation in there. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes, it's looking fabulous. I love it. I'm going to do one more kind of darker go around the edge, and I'm just going to let that bleed. People are talking to us. Okay, great. We did our center, you guys. This is, that's it for our center. It looks great. It has a nice dark center of our center. I feel like this one's so much easier than the big one. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe it was like, we probably spent 30 minutes. This yes. Six minutes. We're done. <laughs> this one, we're going to see how fast we can do it. Well, this one, I think I'm kind of really embracing the loose feel of it, letting things kind of blend together, that kind of thing. Um, there's a benefit to painting loose and fast, I think. And it's just letting go of all those. Like smaller is fun too. Eh? Smaller is fun. And um, yeah, I love painting small. And especially when you have this little guy and you hold it like far away, that's going to look real good. Trust me. Okay. So now I'm going to do the second layer of petals. And the second layer of petals, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of amber with my dandelion. Um, I mean, with my daffodil yellow, just to make the petals a little bit darker. And because they're underneath. So I'm gonna kind of go in between these and I'm working around the petals that are already there. And then you fill it in the top. So you kind of just like work around it. And you see how they're darker in color and they're behind. That shows us that these yellow petals are in front of it. It is. <laughs> there are there are thin petals and there are thick petals. We don't discriminate against petal shape. We love them all. <laughs> we take all sizes. We take all sizes of petals here and we love them. We celebrate them. And another thing that you can do, because sometimes, um, and you've not you might notice here that all of these tops are looking all the same right? They're kind of like really uniform. And so sometimes what I like to do is I'll just like throw in just using like a light yellow. I'll just be like, and here's a third le level of petals behind these two. Let's mix it up. You know, let's go a little bit crazy. Very edgy. It's what I always say. I live on the edge. I'm going to see if I can fit that into every single paint along we do. <laughs> <laughs> Superman every every tutorial we do I'm gonna say I live on the edge you'll see okay and you just keep going keep making your way around and another thing that you can do if the colors are seeming too yellow orange yellow orange yellow orange um, is sometimes I'll just take from the yellow that's already here and just use that and pull that And then it's just kind of a lighter yellow. It might be a little bit more on the brown side because we're, that middle is still kind of bleeding through. But that's okay. Really the key is just switching it up, variation. We don't want it to be too um, uniform. And 
And then what I'm gonna go, I like some of these little white edges, but I don't like how um, many there are. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend out a couple. Just using a damp brush, blending some out. And a hint of strong, this is just pure amber right here. Just some hints of a nice bright orange. Okay, last step. You guys, we're almost done, you're doing great. I'm just gonna take some black and I'm just gonna go along the edge here and do little um, dots. Now this is wet, so it's gonna kind of bleed out a little bit, but we want a little bit of um, detailing here and you can see what happens here when it's dry. It does bleed out a little bit, but I think that's actually a really cool um, effect. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna keep going with it. So I'm just taking some black and kind of dotting around. Now, if you want these dots to be nice and sharp and not like bleed out, then just wait for this to dry and then do this part. And I kind of um, overlap the line, the, the line separating the center to the petals. I kind of do dots on both sides of those. Madness. It's madness in a good way. <laughs> we had a radio show. It used to be like real, really dead pan. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's our sunflower. It's beautiful. Um, it's bright. It's happy. And I'm sure Starlo will already love it. Um, I know somebody who knows her and she said that she started actually already getting postcards and she just put a post on her Facebook just saying um, it was so wonderful and such an amazing surprise and she said it, it came exactly when she needed it too. So um, I know that we're all busy and I know that we have so many things to do, but if we take the time to just do something kind for somebody else, um, it really makes their day and it makes our day. It feels good to serve and to help people. And um, let's show them how art can matter. So um, paint this, put, put it in the mail. We already did the hard part. You just have to drop it now and um, she'll get it and I'm sure it'll just make her day. So thank you so much for painting with us. Um, I think that's it. Do I need to say anything else? That's it? But that's it. Can you give a sneak peek of one of your Octobers? You wanna do a sneak peek? Which one should I sneak? You just finished painting October. I did, okay. I just finished painting the projects for October. I'm so excited for you guys to see. We'll do a sneak peek of one. Which one? Uh, you choose. Okay, I'll do this one since it was in my Instagram stories. You guys ready? Fall leaves. Look at these. Gorgeous. We're doing some fall. We'll see it in a month. Autumn leaves. Forget you ever saw it. Forget you ever saw it. We just like you guys, so we want to do a little sneak, and um, I'm super excited for this project. All the projects are going to be great, and uh, we're this looking forward to be it. Good, man. It's it's a great month, so. Super excited. Don't forget to um, to post this to in the mail. <laughs> Share it, tell your friends. Share it, we tell your you. friends. We love, we love you. We love Starla. We thank you for doing this with us. And um, that's it.